everybody, welcome to Watch Your Lip. My name is David Fine. Guys, today we are permit fishing. We're here on in Broward County on the beach. It is May and it's rough. We got a strong east wind and uh, it's not the favorable beach fishing conditions, but uh, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to go over some of our common practices on how to try to be successful in the springtime when it's rough out, when there's lots and lots of the sargasm seaweed all over the beach, it makes it really tough to fish. But there's a few tricks that you can do to give yourself a chance because this is when the permit are on the beach. So guys, let's get to the video and I'll show you what I know about trying to put yourself in the tight lines category with permit fishing on the beach in South Florida in the springtime. Let's check it out. That little loop, put it right on top. There we go. Bingo. All right, crab trap, you got a piece of tilapia in the middle. You got some weights on there. I don't know if this is gonna be strong enough to hold it, but Chris is gonna put it out for us. Let's go. Let's do it. Trip. All right, guys, here's what we're doing. This is our first permit fishing day of the year. I've got, uh, on this outfit here, I've got 20 pound braid. I've got a five ounce Sputnik weight. I've got a slider rig here. 40 pound fluorocarbon. I got a 5-0 offset circle hook and a frozen crab. Now this crab has been frozen for over a year. So we're gonna throw them out and we're gonna see just how sensitive permit are. I've got two rods set up. This one's a little heavier. I got I think I got 40 pound test grade on that one. But guys, here, here's the deal. When we're setting up, we've got a probably a 15 mile an hour east wind pushing right on shore. And that makes things very sloppy and it makes a lot of seaweed. So one of the things you gotta do is you gotta get, first of all, you don't fish too many lines. You gotta get your lines up high with a 12, I got a 12 foot rod got really tall rod holders. We're setting the rods up on the dune a little bit. The whole idea is you gotta get the line up high and then you gotta throw it out. And the purpose for these Sputnik weights, is they'll dig in the sand and they don't come out that easy. And you gotta launch them out there and allow, allow the, uh, the angle that goes up high to be over the top of the breaking waves right here in the surf. And if, it's, if your line's down in those breaking waves, then you're toast. So the other thing is, you got to look at the sandbar situation. On a calmer day, I would actually want my bait on top of the sandbar. because I, I know that's where permit tend to go and hunt. But when it's rough out, the sandbar is where all the waves break because it's shallower. And when the waves come in, they come up on that shallow sandbar, they dump over. So right over here, if we put our line on top of the sandbar when it's rougher, where it's gonna get seaweed a lot more, and you can see like right out there, I don't know if it's you pick it up, but there's a big accumulation of sargasm seaweed out there. Right here is in between two sandbars, and it's a little calmer than on either side of me. So I'm gonna try and utilize this calmness to set our baits out here because when the wet water washes over the sandbar, it takes the path of least resistance to get back out. So what it does is it comes and crashes over the sandbar, comes up the beach and then washes out through the little eddy or the gully in between the sandbar. And this is actually where your rip current will be. So swimmers gotta be pretty careful when it's rough like this because there can actually be a pretty strong rip current going right here. But we're gonna try, guys. We're gonna try to set up. You know, we got a lot of seaweed right here in the surf. You can see it all sitting there right there in the surf. But if you look out about 30 yards, right here it seems to be clear. So we're gonna launch these guys out and see if we can get uh, tight on a permit. That permit like an outgoing tide. So right now the tide is actually slack. The tide is, 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 is really high right now and it's gonna start receding. And that's what the permit will come in on top of the sandbars and start hunting for crabs. Because I believe, I believe the crabs will 
be on the shore and that it broke yeah i broke it is what it is bring it in all right crab trap rope broke it's a little too much seaweed so we got to get our lines up over the top of this crap because if you don't see all the weeds that are on the on the crab trap it is what it is bro it is what it is, what it is. that's springtime fishing surf fishing in florida um so what was it talking about oh so when the tide is receding the crabs are in the surf and what they have to do is they have to keep unburying themselves and rece retracting outwards and when they do that the permit are there to pick them up so we're going to try and get some lines wet here we go another thing when we hook our crabs um, I'm hooking them through both sides. I'm hooking them through the bottom, out through the top. Hopefully this will hold. In fact, I'm not super happy with that hook job, but we're gonna try that. You wanna try and give your circle hook as little space right here, or, or as little, into as little meat as possible. Your circle hook needs room to set the hook and, and the, the, go into the fish past the barb. So you don't want your hook buried deeply inside of your bait because then that might prohibit the barb from getting set in your fish. So you want this through as, as small of a piece as possible. Unfortunately, this makes it easy to break off and your bait go flying. But I'm gonna go ahead and cast this one out, try and get it out as far as I can. Some, yeah. The drag. You don't want the drag super tight. In fact, it's a little too tight. You want the drag tight enough to hold line to hold it from going out. And you want it tight enough that when the fish hits, there's enough tension where it'll set the hook. And you want it tight enough where the line is tight. It's got to be tight going up and all the way over the breaking waves. If it's not the weeds will catch on the line and drag it in. So that Sputnik weight will latch into the dirt, hold the weight in place, hold your bait in place, and hopefully when this thing gets hit, it's very violent, guys. The permit is gonna slam it, and it's gonna be screaming drag. So I can't wait for that to happen. I actually cast it up. Yeah, reel that in, buddy. Uh, we actually, when I casted this one, the, uh, the crab came off in the middle of the cast and it was not bueno so we're gonna reel that in and put another put another bait on see if we can keep that one on all right guys so that's pretty much the setup i hope you enjoyed the video uh now it's just a waiting game we've got our rods out we've got our crabs out uh we have to get new rope for our crab trap because that thing is uh dry rotted and we need to we need fresh crabs all of our crabs are frozen and from last year uh, if we hook up, we will let you know. We've caught permit on frozen crabs plenty of times. So, uh, guys, hope, give me a thumbs up on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, hit the bell for notifications. And we're going to let you know when we get tight on a permit. I can't wait for this bad boy to sing. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Till next time, guys, watch your lip.